how do I say? Just basically... <laughs> Hi, welcome to Unfiltered, where we share with you our journey to making the first episode of The Bumsu Story. This project was in collaboration with the Filterworks Productions for the creative Core BN's 2017 movie season. We bring to you behind the scenes as well as interviews from the people that made the project possible. If you haven't already, here's the teaser for the first episode. Thanks for coming in. Special announcement today, you guys have a new student. What an order! First Brunei to ever get it. Adi, I mean, my name's Adi. You know this tortured genius act is getting old real fast. I'm Safara Nordin and I play the role of Safara. Safara, Safara. How did you get the role? Did you uh, audition or and how did you know about the audition? Uh, I actually knew about the audition through um, WhatsApp messages. Um, it's been forwarded to um, Seeds group chat. Um, the funny thing about the whole thing is the fact that I was actually dragged to the auditions. I didn't intend to audition at all because I thought I should um, take a break from uh, doing theater acting work and my best friend actually dragged me to the auditions uh, which is also funny because I actually prepared for the whole thing in that one day. When you went to the audition did you audition for a particular role or just a general one? Uh, when I went to the auditions, I actually auditioned for a general um, I role. I It's either for the Seeds project or for the Creative Core slash Filterworks um, production. I actually didn't know what I was going to audition for um, because the scripts were also by ourselves. So. I was just hoping for the best. How you prepared for your role? What did you do in the midst between being informed that you got the role and we want you in and filming? Um, how I prepared for my role is actually multiple readings. And um, I'm the kind of person who always uh, read line by line. And I also don't read just my lines. I um, I tried to connect with the other characters as well and it's uh, this is actually my first time playing someone who is actually my age. I always play the role of mothers. <laughs> I don't know why I, I keep getting mother roles but this is my first time getting a role that's actually my age so I'm actually very happy for that. <laughs> and uh, Basically just script reading uh, again and again and then uh, yeah, tapping into my inner smarty, smarty pants girl. Yeah. How did you feel about the role? Was it was it a difficult one, or was it an easy role? Um, it was actually an easy role to play, although not too easy because I couldn't really relate to her as how um, the character. The way the character is living is not actually uh, relatable, but um, I guess in terms of um, her way of thinking, her personality, I admire her personality. So it makes it uh, a really fun character to play and um, you come on set eager to, um, to polish her character more, to bring it out to the screen and yeah. Moving to the um, difficulties and challenges, um, what would be, um, I guess, the biggest ones or the ones that you've encountered always between pre and during production? Uh, for me, the difficulties um, faced is probably trying to create this um, and eventually creating 
the um, the whole look of this character. Uh, uh, there's Charlotte, there's Zika, and I. We we would always um, try to think of um, ways on how to portray this character, Safara, um, because she's she's. She's basically, uh, how do I say? Her her family has already uh, laid out her future for her. So how do we portray a person who is um, mildly mildly oppressed but also wants to uh, have a life of her own? So uh, creating a look, a look. <laughs> So basically, uh, creating her this unique look of Safara is probably one of the challenges. Um, that's her outfit, the kind of makeup she would have, the hair. So we decided to have her always braided hair. And um, apart from that, I guess uh, trying to digest multiple chunks of lines in just one shot or multiple shots in my case so i think that's one of the challenges but apart from that it's all good i would say you're quite seasoned in uh, theater i think what's the difference if you have any preference I, um, between theater and um, filming uh, film yeah um this is actually my first experience um filming uh, so it's really different. Um, when I first uh, start shooting, I, I was actually, uh, I was actually baffled. I was like, I don't know how this works, uh, and um, it was definitely, um, if I were to be honest, it was definitely exhausting because it, uh, unlike theater acting, um, theater you just do it um, one one thing and that's what you get. That's what people see, but. Um, for filming, you get to do it multiple times. Although it's um, it's easy in a way, but it's all it's also really hard because um, it, everything is very technical. Um, so you have to get the right um, right angle. You you have to be in. Um, everything has to be the same. Um, and then there comes the the lines. Um, I don't have preference, I think. I'm, for me, they're both equally enjoyable to do, both e um, also equally difficult to do. It's not, it's not hard, it's not easy, both are equally the same because um, mu musical theatre or theatre itself, um, everything is also exaggerated. So it, it's bigger than life. So that is also really hard to portray, hard to um, execute. But um, filming is also um, smaller than life. Um, you, you can even whisper, but people can actually hear you still. But um, it's, also, it's also very technical, I guess. I'm not really a technical person. <laughs> um, how do you feel about your overall experience being in like, um, dynamics with your other co-stars as well as um, the crews as well? I'm actually really honored to be a part of this project. I would like to thank everybody um, um, for choosing me to be um, a part of this. And I would definitely, definitely cherish um, my experience here because this is my first experience filming and it's been great so far. What I've noticed is that everything is so smooth and every everyone seems to know like what they're supposed to do. When they come on set, they're, they they do what they do and it's it's been an easy um experience like for example um uh, for example the director the director's uh, asnil asnil's really uh, a flexible person um you can go uh your way around him and um you're allowed to give um your comments or opinions so it's easy to portray your character because of that because we're we're free in a way to shape um, our characters and it, it makes the acting more easy. Everybody's been great uh, though. <sighs> My on-screen family is also really wonderful. Um, I remember enjoying the shoot at the, um, em the Empire shoot really, it was really enjoyable because it felt real for me. Um, I've never really had sisters, so it's the first time I'm actually enjoying to, uh, the fact that I will have 
sisters uh, on screen and a great uh, on-screen dad as well. Um, apart from that, yeah. For every shoot that I have, I'm always, always um, excited for it. Um, I, I will always look forward to the kind of um, orders I will get and um, the the setting I will I will always look forward to it somehow and I especially like uh, dressing up for the character because um, the character dresses up differently in a way than myself and it's always fun hanging out with the backstage crew with um, the makeup crew and you know the lighting people sound people everybody's like working together with everybody, no matter if you're a, a main character or not, if you're just a backstage crew, so that was fun. Um, uh, I will, I'll, I'll have to say that I do get tired by the end of the day because we would end up um, shooting until late night. But I guess um, I have no regrets staying up late because everything is a okay.